So emerald ash borer is a beetle that is invasive to the United States. It was found in Virginia around 2008. Um, ever since then, we have been seeing it slowly take up population across the state from west to east. The beetle's larva actually tunnels underneath the bark of the tree, and that ends up girdling the tree because the larva feeds on the inner bark and cambium and disrupts the flow of water and nutrients within the tree. There are a number of different ways that you can treat for emerald ash borer. The treatment that we did today is an injection treatment that is good for two years. You inject a chemical into the base of the tree. The tree takes up that chemical through transpiration. It kills whatever emerald ash borer is inside of the bark. We just recently found a live adult in Gloucester County, um, but we are pretty certain that Middlesex County has emerald ash borers by some damage we've seen, and it's really not going to be long before all of the counties in Virginia are able to declare they're infested. We have to find a live larva or adult in order to declare it infested, so often we see the damage at the tops of the trees a few years before we can find the actual insect. Even if you're in an area like Chesapeake or Virginia Beach or Suffolk that has not been declared, it's time to go ahead and make preparations, start protecting your ash trees that are important to you. It's better to start the treatments while the tree is totally healthy and not when it's already got some damage. So we're just trying to get the word out that if you want to protect trees that are special to you, you have these options to use different chemicals and work with certified arborists, people who have their pesticide applicators licenses. There's a lot of information on the Virginia Department of Forestry website to help you understand your options and what has happened over the last 20 years with the borer in the United States. Um, so I, I would personally encourage people to read as much information as you can before you make your decisions because working with tree service companies, deciding whether to keep big trees, cut them down, those are expensive decisions so you want to be as informed as you can be.